second time we've seen these guys match up, but here's our tail of the tape again. Slight reach advantage in the arms for Rakim Cleveland. Slight reach advantage in the legs for Vinny Magalhaes. Both are 6'3 and 205 pounds. Vinny is five years the senior of his opponent from the United States. Lillian Garcia gets the light heavyweights going. Fight fans, this is the last fight in the light heavyweight division, and it's an elimination bout for the last spot in the playoffs. This is presented to you by Cage Muscle. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a boxer, standing at 6'3", weighing in 205 pounds. In 33 professional bouts, he has a record of 19 victories, 12 defeats, one draw, and one no contest, with 12 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Baytown, Texas, here is the boogeyman, Rakim Cleveland. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a former jiu-jitsu world champion. Standing at 6'3", weighing in at 205 pounds, in 30 professional bouts, he has a record of 18 victories, 11 defeats, and one no contest. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, he was last season's runner-up, Pesau Vini Magalash. Your referee in charge, Gasper Oliver. Gasper Oliver, our third man in the cage. Vinny Magalash in the golden trunks. Rakim Cleveland in the silver. Last ready? season, Are you ready? Vinny pulled off a flying triangle Kimura to eliminate Rakim Cleveland from the playoffs. Southpaw Cleveland looks to explore a jab, and Vinny gets right to the striking. Oh, big left hand there on the kick. And another kick from Vinny. He loves those heavy legs. Take down attempt shot. from Vinny. Shot attempt. Rakeem a little left hook as Vinny tries to come up. Just like we said earlier, every time Cleveland stuffs one of those takedown attempts, he's going to get more confident and settle into his striking. High kick is one of Vinny's best weapons in the striking exchanges. He did finish a fight last season with that high kick. Rakim looks, Rakim looks confident in there. It was a nice double, nice transition by Vinny. In deep, but under the under the butt, and pulled Rakim down to the mat. And now he's got Rakim Cleveland exactly where he wants him, down in his world, on the mat, walking him away from the cage. Looking for that Kimura on the far side. Look, top position. Now, Rakim, in his corner, he's got Din Thomas, who's one of the best coaches out there, and he's got Brad Barnes, a BJJ black belt out of Midlands, Texas. He's a former world champion, you know, so he's, he's confident and comfortable in this position, but he knows he doesn't want to stay here against a guy like Vinny. Vinny working all the way around from north-south to the other side of Rakim Cleveland. Vinny's in a crucifix position, but he's not looking for that. He's looking for the submission. Look for the arm bar here. He's going to transition all the way around to that far arm. Trying to pull it out. There's the oh. There's the Kimura. There's now the arm bar. bar. There's the and tap. The tap. Vinny Magalhaes with a submission clinic. Back to his winning ways. Six points and a first round arm bar finish for Vinny Magalhaes. He got the takedown. He got exactly what he needed. He got on top. That's where Vinny Magalhaes is the most dangerous when he's on top of him. Nice job at that level change. Used his striking, the kicking to set up that level change in doubling. Six points, a quick six. First round finish for Vinny Magalhaes. We'll be back with the official call when we return on ESPN Plus. Vinny Magalhaes with a phone call to his wife from the cage. And here's the replay, the beginning of the end for Rakim Cleveland. Randy, you talked about him setting up the takedown with that kick. Absolutely, he has to reach into that range of exchanges to be able to change levels and drive through Rakim. Got in deep on that double under the butt. Let you pull those legs out as they, as they hit the fence. Pull them right down. 
there methodically just worked in the better, 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 better position until he made that transition to the far side. Craig was trying to get the core at first and then switch to the arm bar. Quick tap there from Rock Kim Cleveland. Once you let Vinny Magalhaes get one of your limbs by itself, you might as well hand the dang thing over. Yep, he's gonna take it home with him if he wants. There's the corner. So last year's finalist snags himself six points. And Lillian Garcia has the official call inside the PFL Sport Kick. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at one minute and 56 seconds into round number one. Submission by Armbar, earning six points in the light heavyweight division and clinching a spot in the playoffs, Vinny That is the fifth time in professional fighters league action. Vinny Magalhaes has secured a finish in less than two minutes. That came at 156 in the first round and completes our light heavyweight playoff bracket. He will fight Rashid Yusupov. Vinny now the three seed Yusupov, the six. A rematch between Maxime Grishin and Jordan Johnson down there at 2-7 from their first regular season fight. Emiliano Sordi will take on Siki Pesalele, and it'll be Bozagid Atayev and Viktor Nemkov in the four five slots. Very intriguing bracket. Caroline Pierce is inside the cage with our winner. Thanks, Sean, Vinny, huge congratulations. Very different situation coming into the fight this year compared to your road to the playoffs last season. Did you feel any pressure? Uh, there was all this pressure, and people expect me to, especially when I dig to the ground, to be able to finish the fights quickly. And uh, the last couple of fights, I just like spanned out. Like I, I fought like white belt, you know, like going to the ground, like trying to like instead of uh, working on positions as I should, I was just trying to rush into strikes and like you know sloppy submissions, and I ended up losing those fights like in a bad way. So this time, I just focused on being a little more calm and uh, bringing my best game. You looked more patient. You were going for the kimura, and then you took it to the armbar. Talk us through that finish. Well, to be honest, I want to take the kimura, but he was he defended really well. He tucked his elbow really well, but then he exposed him top to the armbar. That's a good thing, you know, like. I see like you know things happening. So when I felt like he defended him more, he just put him like into my next good move, which was the armbar. So you know, once he gave him the arm, he didn't get a tap and gonna break it. Well, talk about the relief you might feel now. You know, you have got that spot in the playoffs. You can relax a little bit, but you got a lot of work to do. We've just seen you're gonna be matched up against Yusupov in the first round in the quarterfinals. How do you feel about that? That's actually cool. You're actually or previously a champion like in a different, a different promotion. You had a belt, had the belt first. So now it's pretty much like, you know, the, uh, the title fight, kind of. So, fun fight. And it looked like you were FaceTiming your wife at the end of the fight, though. What did you say to her? Yeah, I had to, you know, like, sometimes I just, like, just think about, like, myself, like, when I'm fighting, like, you know, uh, my family's been, like, you know, the biggest supporter, like, my, my wife, my kids. So this time I had to call her. <laughs> well, congratulations. I'm sure she's very happy. Vinny Magalesh. Thank you. Back to you, Sean. Yeah. Ready. Uh-huh. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah.